Hi, my name is Ben Wurtzbaugh and I work here at Brilliant Massage Therapy. Uh, right now I want to show you a few um, quick tips for doing massage at home uh, safely. Uh, this is Yolita. Um, she's going to be my partner. The first um, tip I want to give is when massaging you really want to avoid uh, bones, bony landmarks. Um, uh, when we do massage, we're primarily working with uh, soft muscle tissue, so that really just want you just want to focus on that. Um, uh, bony landmarks being, for instance, the spine. You never want to massage directly on the uh, spine, the spinous processes, the little ridges that go down the middle of the back. Um, other areas to avoid would be directly on joints, like the elbows. You wouldn't want to ever push uh, directly on a joint. Again, we're just working with soft muscle tissue. Um, the back is a great place to work because there's no um, major arteries or areas of caution, for instance, that are run through the back. The only area, again, would be just along the spine. The second tip I want to offer, um, using your body weight when massaging. So, um, it's easy to get, have your hands get tired when doing massage. Um, your hands are your greatest tool, but if you do overuse them, they can become uh, sore. Um, so when doing massage, if your hands do become sore, if you want to avoid them altogether, um, you can begin to use uh, more of like the heel of your hands. Uh, elbows and forearms are really great, especially along the back for applying deep pressure. And um, always making sure that your work surface is low enough so that you can get on top and sort of apply that body weight so it's less effort on you um, giving the massage so that you can continue to do more massage uh, injury-free. Feels great. <laughs> and the third tip I want to offer is to just always talk with the person who you're massaging. They're the expert of their body and they're always going to know what feels best and what doesn't. Um, sensitivity can change from day to day so even if you massage someone and it feels great one day it might not feel great the next day so always be in contact with your person. Um, let them know when you're um, changing to other areas of the body and if that area of pressure um, feels appropriate, uh, level of pressure feels appropriate, and um, yeah, and always keep asking and, um, and they'll let you know. You can book with me at brilliantmassagetherapy.com. Love to see you. So uh, come on in and get a massage in these cold winter days. If you want to learn more, you can book a private massage class uh, with me or anyone else here um, and we'll teach you all the ins and outs of giving a great massage. So, thanks.